It's time to use all of these tables to build one consolidated pivot table. So you'll notice on the home ribbon in the middle here, we have a pivot table button and this is a two sided button. If we click the top, it's just going to create a pivot table. If we want to see more options, we can click the bottom half and we can choose to create a pivot table, a pivot chart, a chart and table, so on and so forth. Now we're just going to start with a basic pivot table. So let's click it. It's going to take us back to Excel and ask us if we want to put this on a new or an existing worksheet. Now I'm going to say new worksheet. Let's click on OK. Now, another thing you'll notice is that I have this yellow message that says auto save turned off. And basically it can't auto save if you still have the power pivot window open behind. So once we have this data in there, we can just close down power pivot, which I'm going to do now. And as soon as I do that, the message disappears and auto save toggles back on. Now check out what we have here. We have a blank pivot table report, but then in the pivot table fields, look at what we have. Now, normally when we're just building a regular pivot table based off of one data source, we just have all of the column headings or the fields from our data source. But because we're building this based off of three different tables, we have the tables listed in here instead. And we can expand each of the tables to see the different columns and check out what we have. We have a new column that we added, our calculated column, profit at the bottom. If I expand the customers table, I can see all of those fields. And then finally, if we expand orders, we have all of those fields as well, including another calculated column that we added total profit. So we can now use any of these fields across any of these tables in order to build one pivot table. So let's grab the customer name. Let's drop that down into rows and you can see there are all of the customers. I could then grab the coffee type field and drop that into the columns. And then maybe I want to grab the unit sold from the other table and drop that down into values. And you can see exactly what that looks like. Everything is linking together nicely and we're getting a nice analysis. I could, of course, then go into my pivot table options and start redesigning the look and feel of this table. For example, if we go up to the design ribbon, maybe I want to turn off the grand totals. Let's turn those off and I could even build a pivot chart from here. So let's go to the insert tab and I'm just going to open up the insert chart dialog box so I can see all of my charts. So I can go through each of these and see which one is going to be best to display my data. So I think I'm going to go for a bar chart. Let's click on OK. And there it is. We get a nice visual representation of data that we've effectively grabbed from three different sources. I then might right click and say hide all field buttons on charts. I might want to move the legend. So let's say that we want that at the top. And maybe I want to add a chart title as well, which says units sold by customer and coffee type. So that looks pretty nice. Just going to make that title bold. And very quickly there, we've seen how we can consolidate data, create our own fields and use those to build pivot tables and pivot charts. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.